Beat School on RealAirCulture.com is brought to you by Syngenta Canada, Alberta Wheat Commission, and CNM Seeds. We are joined here on RealAirCulture.com now by Wheat Pete himself. He has made his way out to Manitoba. This is Peter Johnson, uh, Wheat Specialist with uh, Ontario's Ministry of Agriculture. And uh, Pete, you talked today at uh, the Manitoba Agronomist Conference about getting higher yields from our wheat. And, and one of those things we'd like to focus on here is the relationship between fungicide use and increased nitrogen application. There's a, a synergy there? Yeah, absolutely. So that's one of the really exciting things that we found in, in our research. It's kind of a once in a lifetime outcome because that synergy is so significant. And I did research for years just on fungicides and I got so tired of that because it was an 8 to 10 percent yield increase. You just knew it was 8 to 10 percent. And I did research for years on nitrogen and you knew the outcome. It was three or four bushels. Who cares? And I really was missing the boat because I didn't treat it like a system. And when we put the two together, it wasn't 1 plus 1 equals 2, it was 1 plus 1 equals 2.5 or on some varieties it actually equaled 3. So that's the other component that I think is really exciting in terms of the potential for this in Western Canada because some of the newer wheat varieties that are coming in have much higher yield potential and that's driven a little bit by the fact that they probably have lower quality but if all I want is yield and I want to see this big yield then, then I can't have everything. So you take the high yield variety, you match it with a fungicide and a high nitrogen rate and all of a sudden you can do amazing things. So that's way cool. When you say a high nitrogen rate, that's 50, 50 more pounds or, or how, how much yeah. higher? So, so excellent question. How much more higher or how much higher do I go with nitrogen when I look at this? It really comes down to what's my lodging risk and how fast do I want to make that, that move forward. So my recommendation always is what, what's your standard nitrogen rate right now? Are you using a fungicide? Add 30 pounds. And if you don't use a fungicide, I don't think this works. It, it, in fact, I know it doesn't work. So it has to be with a fungicide, and the fusarium fungicide, the late fungicide is the critical one. Uh, early fungicide doesn't matter. Late fungicide add 30 pounds more nitrogen. If you get more yield, if it still stands, next year you can try it with another 30 pounds. But let's move it up, you know, kind of in those 30 pound increments and see what we can get to down the road. So what's the explanation for this relationship? It has to do with the canopy of protecting Oh yeah, the so absolutely. The, the, the answer is, that nitrogen drives wheat and in fact it scares me almost how important that link is and and just the way wheat grows it actually needs more nitrogen per bushel than even corn does or some of the really big yield crops and so we put 150 pounds of nitrogen on corn and get 200 bushels and I'm talking 150 pounds of nitrogen on wheat and I'm only at 120 bushels per acre that's a bit scary but but it really comes down to nitrogen drives wheat, it's a high protein crop, it needs the nitrogen, but if I put a whack of nitrogen on, I stimulate all this growth, and all this growth, now I've got a thick lush canopy. What's a thick lush canopy? It's high humidity. It's lots of perfect, ideal conditions for disease. If I don't keep the plant clean, if I don't make it so that it can utilize the nitrogen, I can actually reduce yield by too much nitrogen because I just increase the disease that much. So that's where the synergy, I think, really happens. So is this, uh, do we know this relationship well enough to even change our nitrogen recommendations based on whether a, a producer applies a fungicide or is planning to apply fungicides? Yeah, so that's the latest research. Shane McClure, my technician, and myself who are really focused in on let's look at the differential response between with a fungicide and without a fungicide. And what we've seen in that research is a clear difference in terms of the slope of the curve and the maximum economic rate of nitrogen. So the answer is yes, the amount of nitrogen you use will be determined by whether or not you use a fungicide. And we will be making differential recommendations for nitrogen on wheat in the future, in the very near future, based on whether or not a fungicide is included.